Hey guys, welcome to my YouTube channel, it's Insights from Ukraine and Russia. I know that all of you probably heard about the sinking of flagship Moskva on April 14th, but what you probably didn't hear is what parents of soldiers who died on April 14th tell about it publicly and also how the Russian government reacted to all of this. I want to show you public posts of uh, Dmitry Skribets, whose son Yegor was a conscript and who most likely died on April 13th or April 14th, it's not clear yet. And this information is kind of exclusive, so please watch this video till the end. Okay, so on April 26th, Igor's mother, whose name is Irina, uh, she got a notice from the Russian Ministry of Defense claiming that her son went missing on April 13th after the sinking of the flagman ship Moskva. After that, someone known as Gleb Lemeshenko, who is a military man, uh, posted his condolences uh, due to the death of his friend Leonid Savin on the flagship Moskva. Uh, but when Dmitry Skribets, uh, the father of Yegor, was trying to find out the truth about his son, Gleb told him that he can tell nothing and that this information is confidential. And then he just blocked Dmitry. So the father of the missing son didn't give up and he submitted a complaint, official complaint, uh, to the main military prosecutor's office of the Russian Federation and here is the reply that he has received. Uh, your request has reached the Navy Military Prosecutor's Office and it has been reviewed. Uh, the review showed that the ship on which the soldier Igor Skribets was serving did not cross territorial waters of Ukraine and it was not included in the list of military units that were participating in the special military operation. On April 13th of 2022, due to an emergency that led to the sinking of the ship, Igor Skribets went missing. The search mission didn't bring any results, thus your son's location is unknown. And in the last part of this notice, they just say that the father already was notified and that his son is officially missing and that the military prosecutor won't do anything. And here is what Dmitry posted yesterday on his social media page. My son's death didn't change my position about those who are ruling in Ukraine, but it opened my eyes and let me see that we have a lot more enemies inside of Russia. Mass media basically doesn't exist. I'm telling you that because I felt it myself. How is it possible to be quiet about flagship Moskva? Uh, the next post he addressed directly to Vladimir Putin. And I want to ask a question to our commander-in-chief who was either given wrong information or just deceived. Vladimir Vladimirovich, why did our sons die while serving as conscripts on flagship Moskva? Why is Navy Command trying to convince us that flagmanship Moskva of the Black Sea Fleet didn't participate in the special military operation and that it has sunk because of some accident. Please share this post published by parents whose son's conscripts have died. Deliver it to the recipient, please. Let him reply honestly and publicly. Enough of making an appearance like all is going as planned. Let him be responsible for our kids since he's a commander-in-chief and you know how many of them have died. We will wait a little, but our patience has limits. And one of the last posts posted by this man is pretty dangerous for his life. He literally risking his life posting this online. We will wait till May 13th for the report with the results of the search mission. The commander of the Black Sea Fleet, Osipov Igor Vladimirovich. Just remember the words you were saying to me, looking directly in my eyes, I'm on people from the prosecutor's office and FSB. You gave me the word of the officer. If the Ministry of Defense and Black Sea Fleet won't make any official statements, we will publish unofficial information that we collected from eyewitnesses and witnesses from flagship Moskva. We will release all the info for the biggest mass medias of the Europe. They have my contact details, so keep watching. Honestly, this man is risking so much, but I'm really glad that he's talking. And I know that there are lots of people like this man who are angry, who disagree with their government of Russian Federation and they want some answers. So there is a great possibility of huge protests in Russia in next few months. Anyways, thank you so much for your attention, for supporting my channel, for sharing this video. I'll see you next time and goodbye to you all.